Hey, I'm Olivia, 22 years old with curly brown hair and hazel eyes. I'm independent, a bit over analytical, and fiercely protective of the people I love. Welcome to my complicated world. I couldn't believe Jack had finally arrived. After months of texting, video calls, and sending each other gifts across oceans, he was actually in my house. I still couldn't wrap my head around it. He flew in that morning, and I swear, when I saw him step out of the terminal at the airport, my heart skipped a beat. He was even more good looking in person, his strong jawline, those deep green eyes, and the way his brown hair fell just right. He was tall, muscular, but not in that show off way, and when he smiled, I got butterflies. And that's saying something because I was 22, not 16. Anyway, Jack stayed with us for a week. I was so excited, but also nervous. I lived with my mom. She had been a single mom since I was 10, and it had just been the two of us for over a decade. I was super close to her, but it was a bit weird having Jack around. She had never really met any of my boyfriends before, so this was new territory. I guess I should describe my mom a bit. She was in her mid-40s, but honestly, she didn't look it. She had this effortless beauty, her hair was a natural dark brown, wavy, and always seemed to fall perfectly, even though she swore she did nothing to it. Her eyes were hazel, and they lit up when she laughed. She was tall too, almost as tall as Jack. She had this youthful vibe that made people often mistake us for sisters, sometimes that was cool, but sometimes it was a little weird, especially now with Jack there. Our house was pretty small, it was cozy, but it was no mansion, we had two bedrooms mine was right next to mom's and a living room that connected to the kitchen. It was all open plan, which I usually loved, but at that time, it made me feel like there was no escape. Every movement, every conversation between mom and Jack echoed throughout the place. When Jack arrived, mom greeted him with a warm hug. She was always friendly, but something about the way they connected instantly made my stomach twist. I brushed it off, thinking I was just being paranoid, but I had noticed little things throughout the day. The way she laughed at his jokes, the way he seemed so comfortable around her, and how they got into this deep conversation about their favorite movies while I just sat there awkwardly, like a third wheel. I didn't know if I was overthinking it, but something felt off dot dot, I was probably just tired from all the excitement. I told myself I'd sleep it off, tomorrow would be better, right? Okay, the next day was weird, really weird, Jack and I spent the morning together, which was perfect. We went out to my favorite coffee shop, walked around the park, and even did a bit of shopping. He held my hand the entire time, and it felt so right, but the moment we got home, things shifted again. I walked into the kitchen, and there they were mom and Jack, sitting at the table, deep in conversation. Again, I didn't even know when she'd gotten home from work, she was leaning in, and he had that relaxed smile on his face, the one I thought was reserved for me. I joined them, trying to squeeze into the conversation, but they were talking about stuff I couldn't really relate to music from before I was born, old TV shows, things they both seemed to love. I hated to admit it, but I felt jealous, jealous of my own mother, what was wrong with me? It wasn't like mom was some sort of seductress or anything, she was just confident, always had been, and I guess Jack liked that. But I couldn't shake this feeling that they were connecting on some level I didn't understand. I didn't want to confront them about it, that would have made me look crazy, right? But I couldn't help feeling this pit in my stomach, like something was happening right under my nose. Maybe I was overreacting, or maybe, I didn't know, I kept my eye on things, I couldn't believe what I saw the next day, or didn't see, I didn't even know anymore. It was late, maybe around midnight, Jack and I had spent most of the evening together watching a movie, but he seemed a bit distant. He kept checking his phone and didn't seem as into it as usual. After the movie, he said he was going to bed early because he was tired. Fair enough, I stayed up for a bit, scrolling through my phone, 
trying to distract myself from these nagging thoughts. But then, I heard something a muffled voice, maybe a laugh, I paused, listening, it was coming from mom's room. I crept down the hall, my heart racing, the door was slightly ajar, and through the crack, I saw them, Jack and mom, together, sitting on her bed. They were whispering and playing cards question mark dot a t first, I couldn't believe my eyes, why were they in her room, alone, at that hour? And why didn't Jack tell me? I felt a surge of anger, then confusion, was this innocent, or was something going on between them that they weren't telling me? I didn't confront them, I couldn't, instead, I went back to my room, lay down, and tried to sleep, but my mind was racing, I couldn't stop thinking about them. I couldn't stop imagining the worst, what if I was losing Jack to my own mother? Jack acted strange all day, he was distant, quiet, and kept avoiding eye contact with me. I felt like I was losing him, like whatever connection we had was slipping away. I tried to ask him if everything was okay, but he brushed me off, saying he was just tired, I knew that wasn't true, I knew something was up, and I was pretty sure it had to do with mom. Mom, on the other hand, acted completely normal, too normal, she was all smiles and laughter, as if nothing was happening. It drove me insane, how could she be so calm when I was on the verge of a breakdown? Was I going crazy? Maybe I was just imagining things, seeing things that weren't there because I was so paranoid. But what if I wasn't? What if they were getting closer? What if I lost Jack to her? I didn't know what to do. I felt so helpless. I couldn't take it anymore. That night, I decided I was going to confront them. I needed to know what was going on. I needed to know if my fears were real or if I was just losing my mind. Jack and mom had been spending a lot of time together, more than usual. I tried to join in, but it was like I was invisible. They had this inside joke now about a card game they'd been playing every night, cards, that was their excuse for being in her room alone. Who played cards in the middle of the night in someone else's bedroom, I knew something was going on, and I was going to find out what. Later that night, I decided to confront them, I couldn't stand another minute of wondering, of imagining the worst. I waited until I heard them in mom's room again, laughing softly, probably over their stupid card game, my heart was pounding as I stood outside her door, hand hovering over the doorknob. I burst in and when I opened mom's bedroom door, my whole world came crashing down. There they were mom and Jack, they were close, way too close, in a way that made my stomach twist. I couldn't breathe, Jack jumped up, looking panicked, but it didn't matter, I had already seen enough. Mom just stared at me, her face pale, her eyes wide with guilt, she tried to say something, but I didn't want to hear it. I ran out of the room, my heart racing, I felt numb, broken, how could they do this to me, my own mother, the person I trusted most, and Jack, the person I thought loved me. Since then, mom hasn't stopped apologizing, she keeps saying it was a mistake, that she never meant to hurt me, but how can I believe that? I can barely look at her, Jack tried to reach out too, but I couldn't even bring myself to respond, there's nothing left to say. I broke up with him, I had to, the trust between us is gone, and I'll never be able to forget what I saw. As for mom, I don't know, our relationship is shattered, and I don't know if it can ever be repaired. I feel so lost, I don't know what to do next, or how to move forward, all I know is that nothing will ever be the same again.